In this video, let's look at how we can control the propagation setting. Double click the puffer fish symbol to go inside to view its timeline. As you can see here, this puffer fish is already parented where the eyes, mouth, and the fins are connected to the main body of this puffer fish. Now, let's try to animate this puffer fish as if it inflates when the group of fish approaches it. Let's extend the frames as we have done for the fish layer. Let's select all the frames vertically in the 320th frame and then press F5 or press Insert Frame button to extend the frames. So now when I scale the puffer fish by scaling the parent of this puffer fish, which is the body, all the body parts are scaled along with it. But that is not how the puffer fish gets inflated. When puffer fish gets inflated, only the body gets bigger, but the rest of the body parts does not scale along with it, right? This is because the propagate option is enabled in the timeline. You can scale just the body of the puffer fish by turning off the propagate scale skew and flip setting. Or you can momentarily toggle the current state of this option by holding the accent key, which is present in the top left of the keyboard. So I'm just holding the accent key and then I'm trying to scale the parent. As you can see here, only the body part is scaled, but the rest of the child just repositions itself. Let's try to animate the puffer fish. Let me keep my playhead at 100th frame, and then I'll create a keyframe and then move this puffer fish by translating it to a new position. When the puffer fish approaches the group of fish, we want it to be inflated, right? So I'll create one more keyframe. I'll select the free transform tool and then scale the puffer fish. So this can be accomplished as said before by holding the accent modifier key, or you can directly disable it over here. So let's go to the last frame and then create a keyframe in the puffer fish body layer, and then move the main parent so that the rest of its children follows it. Now that our poses are ready, Let's create a classic tween to see how the animation works. Let's go to the main timeline. So now when the group of fish approaches the puffer fish, it inflates itself. Let's publish and see the final output. These are some basic examples on how layer parenting works with and without propagation and how it helps in transforming compositions much easier. In the next video, let's see how we can make use of modern rigging to animate other species in our aquarium.